Hello guys, thank you very much for clicking on my first ever YouTube video. My name's Phil. What? I could have made more of an effort with it being my first video. Well, I suppose I could have shaved my head and wore something nicer, but... I mean, I'm filming this in an attic. It's roasting hot. Should we get on with some football manager? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so hey guys, welcome to the new save. This is called leisure to treasure we're going to start with york city as you can see this is very much based on the lelujo non-league to legend but it's my spin on it so we're calling it leisure club to treasure hub right so york city let me just take you through the team report i have done little bits in here so we're going to take a look at squad depth as you can see fairly decent i have filtered this so that i think robbie tinkler can play all the way across from midfield to defense i want him as right back i think he's got the natural fitness to bomb up and down there he is he's decent at crossing the ball but I just feel like that would be his best position for me, for the way I'm wanting to play. Obviously, we could maybe deal with a goalkeeper. Three-star rating there. I'm very much looking at it and thinking 4-4-2, four, four, or potentially 4-2-3-1. But the only thing that puts me off with that is if you look at Jack Redshaw, as you can see here, he's only five foot four. So as good as he is a finisher and dribbler, not really ideal for being the vocal point of the attack. Let's just see. Gabby McGill, 5'11", not bad, 14 for Hedron. Poacher. Let's have a look at this guy and see see what kind of job he can do. There we go, target man. So that's probably how we'd play him alongside. So potentially we're going to go four four two. Dependent on, yeah, I think we're going to go four four two because. Michael Duckworth is actually, actually, he shows up as a right back, but he can play on the wing, right midfield as his best position. So that's probably how we're going to set up. So if we go into competitions, take a look, see where the media think we're going to finish. So, they have us down as third favourites. Oh, flied. Ten to one on. Interesting. Let's have a look at the Media Dream 11. We have, yeah, Harry Bunn. And he's actually down as the best player in the league. That'll do. I love the fact that we're down here as the lowest net transfer spenders in the league. With zero. Let's take a look, see if we've got anybody else. There we go, Robbie Tinkler. Doesn't make the 11, though. Like I say, he's very much sort of utility type player, where he can kind of play everywhere, but nowhere specifically. Now let's have a look. Let's have a look at this Media Dream 11. Because... What I want to see is if we can get any of these guys, boom, look at this guy, Adam Henley. So he's a right back or left back. Don't technically need one of them. But I mean, he is down as the third best player in the league. So we'll scout that guy. Ignore that. 
striker. Far too expensive for our purse strings. Again. So what I'll probably do is I'll go through a few more of these guys off camera and get them scouted up and see where we're at with them. So if we look at the squad view, obviously you can see there, Lelujo squad view. Really good for looking at how you want to play your team. So we've got Harry Bunn, Robbie Tinkler, says his best position is defensive midfielder. But then if you actually look at him, it says on his... There you go, media description, attacking fullback. So he doesn't really know where he wants to play. But we're going to be playing as a right back, I think. Because I feel like we've got the players we want in midfield. So Michael Woods is probably going to be playing. It's deep line playmaker. Probably going to be playing a sort of wing player system with him and potentially this guy here who I believe is a ball winning yeah ball winning midfielder so I would sit next to him perfectly but there is potential to sign other people as well as we go so yeah guys this was the quick introduction into the York team I'm going to play through a little bit now, get the scouting, scouts out and ready, and then I'll come back if there's any transfers. Right, guys, we're back. We've played through until the 1st of September when the friendly start. As you can see, we've made a couple of signings, but first an outgoing. £5,500 we got for him. His value's already plummeted to two and a half thousand. He was actually a highly influential player at the club, but luckily nobody seemed to care when he left, which is a bonus. So <clears throat> that's our only out. Regards to players coming in, we've signed some good players. Lamin Jani. We're going to say he can basically play everywhere. He's another sort of utility midfielder. Brought him in primarily as a ball winning defender, but also he can box to box, he can cover the deep line playmaker. He's kind of our guy to come off the bench, and obviously, he has great potential. Let's have a look. Do we have on here? Could improve by a slight amount in the future. But when you look, three star, it's four and a half star potential. Comes in as our third best midfielder. <clears throat> but we've got another player in front of him in central midfield. Gregor Zabret is a new goalkeeper. I said we were looking at the three star keeper that we had at the moment and wanted an improvement so we've gone out and got that he's slovenian he's a under 21 international three and a half stars at the moment but he again has potential to improve so yeah big improvement in the goalkeeping department exactly what we were looking for then we have our new starting central midfielder Stuart Lewis, 32 year old, I mean look at the mentals, exactly what you want, determination, leadership, anticipation, aggression, vision, work rate, good stamina, good strength, good natural fitness for this level, three and a half star midfielder, just sit in that midfield and play anywhere, 13 passing, 12 tackling. It's really going to be a bit of a workhorse in that midfield. And then, youngster, Jack Lely. 
basically he's fast. And anybody who play football manager in the lower leagues will know if you're fast and you've got natural fitness, bit of flair, bit of dribbling. End product's not the best, but again, for Vanarama North should be more than good enough. Play on either wing. We've actually got him playing in that right midfield position. As you can see here, attacking winger, three and a half stars in that role. And that's where we're going to be playing him. And again, 17-year-old. Plenty of potential. And then our last signing. The one that uh, I'm most excited about, actually. Jaden Thompson Brizit. He's a pressing forward or an... He can play anywhere, but we're going to be playing him as the press and forward. Get into the defenders, 19 years old. Bags of potential. He's quick. He's also fairly strong as well. He's only five foot nine, but he should be able to bully them defenders. As you can see, tackling six, but again, for Vanarama North, it's fairly good. Really excited about this guy. He hasn't really played anywhere. But we're going to give him his first run of competitive football. And hopefully we can get 20 goals out of this guy easily, I think. So now, let's go and see what that does. I'll show you the tactics. <clears throat> so we went for a 4-4-2. With a wing player, with a few tweaks. Obviously it means Duckworth is freed up to play at full back. Which means we can bring Tinkler into centre back. I know I said I was going to play him at right back. But have a look through the injury susceptibility to a few of the guys. And as you can see here, Matty Brown is injured at the moment. I believe it. Uh, yeah, hip injury, and he's out with a specialist, and it's actually, he has a high injury susceptibility, as does Kennedy. So, we're looking at that and realising that we need cover there. Obviously, Newton can play centre-back as well, and we have Scott Barrow, who's a decent left-back, back up there. So he can provide cover as well. Um, we've got the young goalkeeper. Ryan Whitley. He'll do a job if we need him. Um, our starting goalkeeper from the start of the save. Jameson I believe he was called. He got a grumpy on. Basically. So he's been transfer listed. And chucked to the under 18s to try and. Stop the morale crashing. So yeah, I was I was starting eleven, which I believe will be our starting eleven come the start of the game. To be fair, because I can't see us making any more changes, and as you can see by the wage budget, we're minus eight hundred and eighty pounds per week, which hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we won't be making any more signings. It'll only be outgoings. Once we get rid of a few of the youngsters on loan, I expect that to be a drawabout level. So yeah, the starting eleven: Zabret, Newton at left back, Kennedy, Tinkler as a centre back pairing, Duckworth at right back, Lely, right wing, Lewis centre midfield alongside. Michael Woods, Harry Bunn as the inverted winger on the left and up front, Redshaw as the advance forward and I'll press him forward, Thompson Brizit. So if you look at the team report and look at squad death now, this is filtered to three star only players and again I've got it set up where the players are only covering where I will be using them. So in goal, Zabret, but again, 
bags of potential. Four and a half star potential, so expect him to grow as the season goes on. Duckworth and Tinkler at right back. Tinkler, Kennedy and Brown at centre back, but again, I'll just show you, we could re-add Newton to that list at centre back as he provide cover. And again, there you go. Newton naturally would go in as our starting centre back if we did that, but we're using him out on that left hand side. So we've basically got at least apart from the full back positions, four in every position, which is fantastic. So even if we get injuries to our starting eleven. We know we've got ready-made replacements to come in. I mean, the fact that we've got four on that left wing is fantastic because it does free up if if I find that Harry Bunn's not playing fantastically well on that left wing. We could look to play him in centre midfield because he is actually our best centre midfielder, even though he's not great at playing there, to be fair. <clears throat> But yeah, that is our team. Let's have a look, see what the media prediction says now. So Flyde have come right down. So they were 10 to 1 on to win the league. They're now only 3 to 1 on. We are 9 to 4 now. So we've gone, I think we were pretty sure we were third favourites before. So we've potentially leapfrogged, was it? Boston United who were ahead of us before. Still no other players in the uh, Media Dream 11. Still only Harry Bunn. Johnson and Henley are tried to sign, but they've recently signed for Charlie and for Kettering Town, respectively, and they were unwilling to discuss terms with us. I believe Tinkler is still classed as our second best player. Let's see. Yeah, there he is. And obviously, there won't be. You only get. I often find a lot of people scrolling through this for more players. It only allows you your two best players. It limits it to that. Hence why Leamington have got two players on there when they're down as 200 to 1 relegation favourites. So yeah guys, I'm going to play through the friendlies now. You see the schedule. So we've got five friendly games and I'll potentially come back for the FA Cup second qualifying round and then the first game of the season. So if you've enjoyed this and you want to see episode two, please give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.